Blog Talk Radio. Here at ACO Radio, American Communications Online, or any affiliated stations or websites are not responsible for what guests, hosts, or call-ins may say. All programming is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Hello, universe. This is Planet Earth Calling. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Remember Cosmos Connection, Teresa J. Morris, T.J. Thurman Morris, T.J. Morris ET Radio. We are all here. Welcome aboard, all you ground troops spinning around smartly on planet Earth, Mother Earth, Gaia, Sophia, Sophia, all the things we call Mother Earth. We're going to do something today because it's Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, all you wonderful people. I hope you're all in love with life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness in the United States of America. I'm calling in from the great state of Florida. I'm over in the panhandle closest to Alabama. I'm uh, in Gulf Breeze right now. It's a little cloudy, a little cool, but it's still nice to be on planet Earth. And I hope you can hear me just fine. Uh, anyone that wants to call in, please feel free to do so. We're going to do a talk show live today, and uh, hold on just a minute. Answer and end on going call. I'll merge. Thanks. Okay, Tommy, can you hear me now? I hear you now. Since you're on the conference call, we're live recording instead of you called me direct, so I was just introducing the show. You want to say hi to everybody since we're recording? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Tommy Huxley here, calling from the Big Island of Hawaii. So much going on here in Hawaii, and I'm sure it's going on wherever you live. Between the red, the president, weather, UFOs, you name it, it's all going on. Uh, I hope you're aware of it and what's well, happening right here. now. We've been here a long time, and Tommy is the only one that called me just right before the show. So uh, we've got somebody waiting, and it is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be all about love and light and liberty and the pursuit of happiness today. So, uh, Tommy, you're merged in, but you can hang up any time or you can hang with me. So let's get started. 347-463, you're live and on the air with Teresa J. Morrison, Thomas Hawksblow at Florida, Hawaii. Who's this? Can you hear me? Maybe not. Let's see. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Tommy, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Well, uh don't know why this isn't working. Tommy, let me call back in. Call into the show. You got the number, 347-945-7207, because right. it's not recording. It is online. It says we're recording, folks. So, uh, just anyway, anybody... Today we're live recording. We'll be right back. Thanks everybody that remembered me today. All right, Tommy. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Can you hear me now? Anybody out there? Anybody hear me? <laughs> I hope you can hear me. This is a strange time, especially with what we're doing in cyberspace. So I'm hoping you're going to enjoy what we do today. Uh, if you'd like to join me, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Teresa J. Morris and tell me any of those uh, particular gifts that you're interested in. And hopefully we can help you uh, tune in to what we're doing. Uh, I like to use the fact that we use our higher self and uh, guiding you as a channel for higher source and connection to source and yourself. So we appreciate you calling in and sharing today. Like I said, we're in Gulf Breeze, and Tommy is in Hawaii, and the only one that bothered to call in today. So uh, we appreciate you. I see another one here in Florida, 347 number. Can you hear me? Uh, I'll have to. I can't hear you, so just letting you know. Tommy, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, good. All right. Well, I guess if you can hear me, 
will just continue. Uh, a spiritual community, Ascension, Avatar, Master, Oracle, Universal, Fifth Dimensional Spiritual Growth Show. <laughs> I've got shared Ascension Age books out there, and Tommy's helped me many times on Teresa J. Morris Ministries. You can find him on YouTube. And Tommy now does his show every Tuesday at least. And uh, on his own YouTube, Hawk's Blood One, isn't it, Tommy? What's the name of your show? On because I watch it with you and Tina, ET Girl. Well, right? I, I give it a name every time I do it. Uh, it's on the Hawk's Blood One on the YouTube. If you want to watch it, okay. Well, I, I change the name it. every time I do it. We've got a different message every week. Well, what about love? Have you got anything for us on love? because it's not something you're known for, but I never ask you if uh, you're in love with Namgal, but you must be to be with her all this time. You want to help me talk about love today? Because uh, on a positive note, right. uh, Valentine's Day is actually a spiritual day, is it not? Are you familiar with Valentine's Day or not? Yeah. Or just how you and I, you and I s- celebrated it in school. <laughs> Well, you know, You're, the defin, definition of love is so widespread, and it's accepted different ways by different people. And I, I think very few people understand when somebody claims they're in love with somebody, how far that really goes and how much they're really willing to commit to it. In most cases, people are not ready to commit enough to it to make it really work right. Or even make well, let it me last. give the history of it. Let me give the history of Valentine's Day. It's actually called Saint Valentine's Day, but over the years in the fifties, I don't. I think they dropped the saint part. But I'm gonna read it off of uh, Wikipedia. I mean, it says Saint da- Valentine's Valentine's Day, also called Saint Valentine's Day, is the feast of Saint Valentine. Now it's celebrated every February 14th, which is today in 2021. It was a Christian feast day, so there are two early Christian martyrs named St. Valentine. And so I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, or Christian martyrdom or anything like that, but Valentine's Day, we do celebrate it, uh, and it is a Christian type of celebration for romance, love, and it says uh, St. Valentine and through the later folk traditions, became a a significant cultural, religious, or commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. Now, there's a number of martyrs. It sounds funny, but there's a whole story of martyrdom and Christian ministering, but persecuted under the Roman Empire in the 3rd century. uh, He was actually locked up. So according to an early tradition, St. Valentine restored... Oh... Oh, I hear somebody. Is that your wife? Let's say your partner. Let's see. St. Valentine's Day. Kevin Green called Her- Herrera Buffer and Queen to give that keeps giving to the Democrats. And she writes, the Trump was... DJ, I'm on mute. ...are watching. John, 43 Republicans allow Trump to be acquitted. Interesting. It must be somebody else. Okay. Okay, it was someone else listening with a TV in the background. <laughs> Okay, so uh, somebody local, I guess, but it originated as a Christian feast honoring two early Christian martyrs, right? We've got that down. So persecuted under the Roman Empire in the 3rd century, executed under the Roman Empire, but he was uh, actually imprisoned for ministering to Christians, okay? (laughs) I guess during the Catholic Roman type of world. According to early tradition, St. Valentine restored sight to a blind girl which was the daughter of one of his jailers. So there's all kind of legends that went out about that theme of love. Now, uh, I know the original story, but since he was in prison, um, the way that they've got this in Wikipedia, numerous later additions to the legend have been related to the theme of love, an 18th century embellishment to legend claims that he wrote the jailer's daughter a letter signed your Valentine as a farewell before his execution. So additional posts of the St. Valentine's Day performed on weddings for Christian soldiers who were forbidden to marry. So he broke a couple of codes here. I guess he was a rebel like Tommy. He didn't necessarily go by the rules. 
But the Feast of uh, Valentine's uh, was established by the Pope. Now, the first Pope that recognized it was Gelasius, G-E-L-A-S-I-U-S I in 496 A.D., Amino Domino, which uh, I believe uh, is uh, after death. It used to be of Christ, uh, but celebrated February 14th as an honor to St. Valentine of Rome, who died on the, that date in 269. Now, that became associated with romantic love, uh, which is interesting if it's not. I think that's a very interesting thing. But uh, celebrating courtly love flourished. Now, uh, I guess we'd have to live back then, but we're talking about in the now in 2021. But this day became associated with romantic love in the 14th and 15th centuries when notions of courtly love flourished, flourished associated with lovebirds of early spring. Maybe that's where we get lovebirds, things like that. Now, the 18th century England, so we're going back in history, grew into an occasion when couples expressed their love by presenting flowers and offering confectionery, which is sugar sweets, and sending greeting cards known as Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day became a symbol, and they used it in today's uh, time, including heart-shaped outlines, doves, wings of Cupid, and Cupid are those little bitty tiny angels. We can talk about those too, which is funny uh, how those all came to be. But Tommy, if you want to share anything on Cupids too, Valentine's symbols include heart-shaped doves and winged Cupids. Now, I'm just about finished, Tommy. Since the 19th century, handwritten Valentines have given away to mass-produced greeting cards. So in Italy, St. Valentine's keys are given to lovers as a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the key to one's heart, so as well as to children to ward off epilepsy, which was a Valentine's Day melody or melody. St. Valentine's Day is not a public holiday in any country, although it is an official feast in the Anglican Communion and the Lutheran Church. Many parts of the Eastern Orthodox Church also celebrated St. Valentine's Day on July 6th, honor of the Roman Presbyter St. Valentine, July 30th, in honor of Hero Martyr Valentine. Isn't that interesting? So how did it? Is it on the calendars, Tommy? I thought it was. Let me look at my American calendar. Have you got a calendar, Tommy? Does yours say Valentine's Day? We know it. We celebrate it. Let me look. Are you there? It says St. Valentine's Day. Can you hear me? I don't see it on the calendar. I don't see it on the calendar, TJ. TJ. Hello. Hello. TJ, what are you doing? 